divine manifestation is holy action. Mighty, mighty. When Chris did to that benediction, I remember we did it in London was when I wrote it out. And uh, just the vibe he brings to it. You know, everybody in the choir, I can hear them before he starts singing, calling them. Let the deacon, they call him the deacon, let the deacon say something. Come on, deacon. <laughs> and then he just, I mean, just the way he does that is him. He just is honest and full of, full of just love and soul. And what can, what can we say? It's nothing to be said, just he is the magic man. You need something called Crimshaw. I mean, I came in the world, you know, the music was just all around me. You know, my dad, uh, he has a gospel quartet group back at home, that goes with joy. When I first discovered that he had music talent, he was like three years old. And uh, one night I was walking through the house and I had bought him a little keyboard at, at three years old, a little toy. And uh, I was walking through the house and he was playing jingle bells. And he didn't know I was listening. And so I stood there and listened. And, he played it again. People tell me, like, I, I haven't heard a sound like yours. You know, you have a certain, you have a certain drive in your sound. You have a certain feeling in your sound. And um, I tell people, well, sometimes I, 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 I can't explain it. And we started to notice how every time a commercial would come on the television, a little jingle, he would run to the TV, stand in front of it until the commercial went off, listen to the music. I do remember a time when I was I was called out of class. I was in eighth grade, and um, actually it was 1997, the last time that uh, Wenton came to Augusta, Georgia, and Wycliffe Gordon came to uh, to the school and did a concert at the um, at the middle school with the high school band. And once I saw Cone and he did his thing on the, on the trombone, and I think that was it for me. Ever since that time, Chris kind of bonded to Wycliffe, I guess, and. So he ended up where Wycliffe was. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing all right. How about all right, you? All right, I'm good. Pleasure, sir. Thank you for being here. All right, thank you. I really appreciate everything that you do for our young people and our community. The one thing we always tell the kids: we all we all come from different backgrounds, but. We're all built the same. It's just how we use those resources and talents that we have to, uh, you know, shape our destiny. And uh, uh, Chris has certainly uh, sh shown our kids, you know, exactly what you know. Just people from Thompson, what you can make of yourself and what you can do, and it's a, it's a, it's a big uh, inspiration for them. So, well, thank you for for you showing showing us and uh, giving giving the kids that hope and that spirit. The true spirit, right here. <laughs> All right, see y'all. That was Thompson High School. School I went to, four years. Graduated from, thank God. <laughs> that building over there, that's the band room. That's where we, you know, make magic, make music. That's where I hone my skills most of the time. Oh, the Brickyard. What is the Brickyard? The Brickyard is where a lot of kids' dreams really just come true. A lot of games have been played here. A lot of hearts have been broken on both sides of the ball. This is where the band lines up and they play. The saxes, the French horns will probably be on this level. The trumpets will be above that. The trombones, trombones, baritones. This is our area. I would probably be over here on this side so I can get a good view of the game. We just had a special, it was a special time, a special group. I mean, you had players in there that one played, you had players that were serious, you had players that, some of them, most of them knew how to read music, some of them didn't, but it's all about their spirit. And that's one thing I learned about being in band and uh, playing music. If you don't have it in here, I mean, they'll hear it. I mean, somebody's gonna hear that you don't, but so, you really have to have something in your chest to um, you know, be able to play this music. I met Chris Crenshaw at Juilliard. I was teaching a class. And we were talking about Louis Armstrong's music or something. And he, he started playing it and could play. So I was like, man, how you learn how to play like that? 
it's unusual a young person can actually play something authentic in that style or sound with that type of clarity and conviction. But Crenshaw is like sprinkled with magic dust, you know. What, 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 what is it he cannot do? First, he's absolutely, thoroughly, absolutely cool on every level. He's not a guy with no kind of problem or drag. He occupies a very small space in terms of his ego. He has perfect pitch. He can write an unbelievable arrangement in one night. No keyboard, no tools, just okay, I got this. Always his arrangements, his compositions are always just so, so, so intelligent and pointed and so well crafted. He plays the trombone in all kinds of different styles under any type of circumstance. He played at his, I think his pre-K teacher's wedding. And that was like five years old. He's just different. He's just sweet. He's a sweet and lovely person. I mean, there are times when you when you think, man, it's like, what am I doing here? But then I just remember just the affirmations that I got from various people, you know, from my mom, my daddy, my wife, my um, my cousins, his friends, and just seeing smiles on their faces whenever I play, and. Um, Audience members, it doesn't matter where I am, it's, it, whether it's New York, D.C., Spain, anywhere. I mean, just that alone just keeps me going. I, I, I tell people I don't have the, I don't have the best smile in the world. I make them smile for me. So, just, just that alone just, just, just keeps that keeps that spirit. Music is, has a, has a way of empower, empowering situations, and it has a certain way of just making problems go away. I think music cures a lot of a lot of evils. And I have on my business card giving back to him hundred percent. You know, and him obviously is in caps. A song, a lot of songs. Whenever I think about playing, I always think about well he gave for me. So I'm gonna do my best to give back to him. I've acted out my life on stages Because he didn't have to give me this 10, gift 10,000 people watching The gift to hear the way that I hear alone, and I'm singing this The song. gift to play the way that I play I know your image of me is not the, you know, the gift to sing the way that I sing But I love you Deep down in my heart I love you